The new <laughs> castle youngster gets up to when he's sent to his room. <laughs> Now that's not the sort of thing you'd find in the latest entertainment being produced for children because it seems we are entering the age of the video comic. They've got adventure serials, cartoon strips and all the usual things, except that the youngsters watch them on the telly. They're usually produced by animation studios, but the Christmas issue of the Flash video comic will feature a story by a young man from Gosforth near Newcastle. Tony Luke filmed it entirely in his bedroom using models he made and we sent Simon Willis to take a look. Tony Luke has some pretty unusual toys in his bedroom. Actually, the whole bedroom is pretty unusual, with a scaled-down sound stage in one corner and a whole horde of magazines, comics and videos. It's these which spark off ideas for his animated adventures, soon to be seen in a video comic throughout Britain. It's about ten years since I started, but uh, I've been doing it with a view to getting a job or career in film television for about three or four years now. and. Uh, Things have come and gone on leaps and bounds. The career certainly got off to a good start selling this to uh, a video magazine, Crush Charlie to that. What is it with these video magazines? There seem to be a lot about giant robots. Yes, uh, well, the company who are distributing this uh, video comic for children called Flash, uh, well, the thing is, uh, they marketed a TV series on video cassette over here called Mazinga Z. Now, Mazinga was the first of the Japanese giant robots, the giant warrior robots. Uh, here's the one of the cassettes here mm -hmm. and uh, now this when it began in on Tokyo television in 72 it shot to the top of the ratings within a, within a couple of weeks and since then there have been about 30 giant robot television programs uh, but uh, one of them got a hundred percent share uh, in some countries and so the Japanese streaming. are very keen on giant robots very you yes. think it'll be the same in Britain uh, well I sincerely hope so as soon as some of the uh, new TV series start appearing over here, uh, then I think it really will take off very extremely well indeed. Let's take a look at that. That's called what? Mazinga Z. It's, uh, I believe that's the American translation. <laughs> the electrosonic waves can't go through water. Now I'll turn the tables on him. takes care of him. Well, that was Mazinga Z, you just saw, as I said, the uh, first of the Japanese robots. And that was a cartoon. What I did with uh, Crusher Charlie and the Terramex was to do it with uh, model animation. And uh, it, uh, as I said, instead of doing with cartoons. Why that? Uh, well, for a start, I can't draw very well. <laughs> and uh, I think it would have taken about six months at least to have done it in cartoon form. I mean, it was originally a comic strip, but uh, as uh, model animation is my is my speciality, then uh, that's the way that's the medium I chose to do it in. When you started Different. playing about with all these models, in the bedroom, <laughs> I mean, did you ever think that people would be going to the shops and actually buying this on a video cassette? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was very really pleased that it's got that way. Uh, well, yes. I mean, uh, as I said, uh, getting a Christmas release uh, on on the on the Flash video cassette, and um, very much looking forward to. Uh, Seeing it as, as you say, on the shelves, because uh, that'll be, uh, I think, the, you know, the, old, the big thing. In the 21st century, half the world is under the rule of Nacros. Only one thing can stop him Crusher Charlie. The most titanic clash of all time, as metal warriors battle it out with the fate of the Earth in the balance. C. Crusher, Charlie, and the Terramex. Uh, 
Yeah, right, I like that. Crusher Charlie is a good name, isn't it? Um, uh, we'll have the weather forecast now, I think.